Hey awesome people, welcome back to SV Dance and in this video tutorial, I'll show you how I created this cool animation. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first we need tube. Okay, after radius around 130 and inner radius 125. Right. Rotation segments 90. Height I'll take 13. Segments 4 is fine. And then fillet. Make it 1. Alright. Now take one more tube for the middle part. So inner radius 125. Oh, sorry, outer radius and inner radius both 125. Okay. Rotation segments 90 again. And we know we don't need fillet, so let it be. Alright, and the height. Height must be 190. Okay. Now just align this. Alright. Now select the first tube and just duplicate. Like so. Okay. So now we have this container. Select all and hit Alt or Option G to group it. Okay. Now just hide for a moment. Okay. Now we need one helix. Plane. Make it XC. Start angle 65 degree. Oh sorry, it's start radius. 65 centimeter 0 is fine end radius make it again 65 end angle make it 360 Oops. 360 yeah. height I take 180 division 100 it's okay it's okay and x c that's fine okay now we need some object to put inside a cloner. So select this pyramid. Like this thing 5.5. Like so. And then one more element will take platonic. Radius I take 3.3. So you can see both objects here. Just select the object and press S. Now select this cloner and put both pyramid and platonic inside the cloner. Okay. Now select this cloner and uh, go to object. Inside mode, select object. Okay, now select this helix and put that inside the object box here. Okay, so you will get this kind of stuff. Okay, now inside the distribution, change count to step. And step, make it 8 cm, like this. Okay, now we need to take one more Cloner. So you can click here or you can go to MoGraph and select Cloner and then select the previous Cloner and put inside the new Cloner like this. Okay, I just rename it to Cloner A and this one to Cloner B. Okay, now select the Cloner B go to mode and select radian okay now change count to 17 
it's okay and radius radius make it t or maybe a bit less around 38 okay 38 all right so now we have this nice shape okay now the magic part if you select this clone b and go to transform and if you animate this value you will get this kind of animation okay we are going to use that only so just increase the timeline around 220 add zero frame add a keyframe here and then add 220 make it minus 1080 and add a keyframe so you'll get this kind of animation oops what happened oh make sure you type the right value 1080 and add a keyframe okay so, yeah so you get this kind of nice animation Alright, now next step, just, yeah, we have this container, we need one floor, so go to any view and just align this floor, like so, okay, now go to perspective view, Now we're going to animate this container. So go to frame 40th, then it's fine. For before that, just add one camera. Go to camera inside the camera. Inside projection, select isometric. So it's x axis, right? So go to chords and add a keyframe here. Now go to frame 0 and then just simply animate this thing like, like this. Yeah, again add a keyframe. Now go to 150th frame. Again add one keyframe here and then add 220. Just do this animation like this okay so if you play see this thing happening but we don't want that right okay so just select the middle slender uh, cube and then go to basic and turn on this option so you can see the inside part right x-ray okay now now we need to animate this thing right so just select this cloner a go to mogra effector and plane now go to parameter and check the position and check the scale option we need uniform scale so check this icon and scale minus one now go to fall off and select this spherical it is here okay now we need to animate this size value like this okay so at frame zero we'll keep it 65 that's okay and at frame 50th will expand this spherical field actually it's opposite 
so just hit a keyframe and select this keyframe and act just switch this keyframe like this yeah Can move the animation a bit further so it will start from frame 20 like this all right so at 148 frame select this cloner a right click and go to simulation tag and add this rigid body okay so right now it's enabled add a keyframe here and just one frame before uncheck this and again add a keyframe okay now we need to give one simulation tag for the container also so go to simulation tags and then this time collider body Similarly, just copy the whole control or command and drag and drop to floor also. Okay, now if you play the animation, you'll get this. Okay, now quickly just add a material and whites all right so now we have this our animation ready let's quickly add some texture to it so for floor this thing glass and then this gold also the gold for the cloner all right now if you play this Perfect I hope you like this tutorial Subscribe Espritas and don't forget to hit that like button Thank you